the end, the family was represented by a pair of lawyers called Lynn Wood and John Pierce. This came up out of nowhere. We were not expecting to have this conversation at all. We were taken by surprise a little bit, but it's really interesting. Here's Kyle Rittenhouse's description of what his lawyers did to him. Get arrested, what happens then? Once I'm arrested, I go to Depke Juvenile uh, Facility, and I gotta, I gotta say thank you to them for their professionalism. And the jailers, the the guards yeah. at Depke, they're they had they were the utmost professional people I've ever met. Really? They, exactly. They were some of the most professional people I've ever met. I'm it was amazed. amazing. Like they treated me with respect and. They didn't like talk down to you like you've seen like in some videos. They just treated me like I was a human. How long were you there? I was in jail for 87 days, and this goes this follows in with Lynn Wood, who Lynn Wood was raising money on my behalf, and he held me in jail for 87 days, disrespected my wishes, put me on media interviews, which. I should never have done what she said oh you're gonna go talk to the Washington Post which was not a good idea along with John Pierce they said I was safer in jail instead of at home with my family and then after I'm billed your up, lawyer said that my lawyer said that John Pierce and Lynn Wood 87 days is a long time to be in jail it, it was it was very long I lost a lot of weight in there I, I, I since then gained it back I know the feeling yeah <laughs> uh. 87 days of not being with my family for defending myself and being taken advantage to being used for a cause by these by John Pierce and Lynn Wood trying to solicit not solicit trying to raise money so they can take it for their own benefit not trying to set me free so you think they could have raised the money for bail faster but they didn't um i believe it I believe uh, sometime in September, September 5th, I want to say, they had over a million dollars and bail was set and able to be posted in September. So they could have had me sign the waiver for extradition and had me back in Wisconsin and I could have been bailed out by mid-September. But they wanted to keep me in jail until November 20th. 